Hi guys, I'm back again. So, today we are going to talk about GQ Blends Christmas 2014 mixture. Now you might be thinking, oh my god, it's January, now you're talking about it. Well, as you know, I do not make a video unless I've smoked at least one tin or one pouch of tobacco to formulate my first impressions and actually to get into the nitty gritties of the tobacco. That saying, I got this tobacco a little bit late. Uh, it was near Christmas when I got it. And <clears throat> at first, uh, when I smoked this tobacco, uh, I did not like it, frankly. All it 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 basically smoked like tasted like cloves, very very strong cloves. I was not able, <clears throat> I was not able to discern anything from this tobacco. So I was like, okay, let me wrap my head around you, tobacco. So I've been smoking this since the last one month. I have a little bit left, and hence I'm confident to actually talk to you guys about this tobacco. Now, this tobacco is not about the technicalities of the tobacco used or it's not about the manufacturing process it's about Christmas and it is, it's about how it makes you feel so if you open the pouch the tin aroma is really nice it, it basically reminds you of your kitchen uh, with lots of spices in it I could you know I can gives you a little bit of an alcohol a rum kind of an aroma from the uh, from the tin pouch or from the pouch you can say uh, but actually it does not have any alcohol in it it's just the amal amalgamation of all the casings which GQ tobaccos have used in it the blend itself is Cavendish, Virginia and Burley and the casing in it has been prepared specially by Glenn, uh, the master blender behind GQ Tobaccos. And it consists of pure cinnamon, allspice, nutmeg, clove, star anise, and yes, a little bit of a brandy and orange. So I'm wrong actually. It has a little bit of alcohol in it. But I, it, it reminded me of rum, but it's actually brandy. So this is an awesome the, the the pouch aroma of this tobacco is awesome and <clears throat> the tobacco consists basically of different kinds of cuts it has shag in it it has coarse cut tobacco in it and it has cube cut tobacco in it so all in all a very nice presentation uh, of the tobacco uh, let's let me get a little bit out of the pouch so I can you can see it in real time instead of the photographs so this is how uh, the Christmas blend 2014 from GK tobaccos looked like very nice it's a little bit dry because it's in it's been in the pouch for almost a month now but it's still very still very moist and very smokable right out of the pouch very nice I really really like to you know smell it before I actually put it in my pipe and this is what I'm actually smoking uh, in my pipe as well while talking to you guys this is the as I said this it's not a technical review you basically can't do a technical review of such a complex blend when it comes to ingredients but I'll talk about the smoking experience of how I felt like very nice it takes a little bit um, I'm, I usually smoke it in my falcon and it takes a one or two matches for the first free light burns really nice I'm actually almost done with the with this pipe with this bowl of the mixture 
but <clears throat> the first half of, of the tobacco is really nice very light and <clears throat> after 10 20 percent of the bowl has been expended uh, you tend to you know you start to taste all the ingredients in it all the casings in it and the dominant one as I told you in my introduction was cloves and also cinnamon and nutmeg so the room note is awesome very smoky as you can see it also reminded me of a cigarette I used to smoke in winters in my home city it, it, it really used to get really really cold when I was a teenager and there was a cigarette called Gudangaram uh, it had tobacco and cloves in it and it, when you smoked it it was really strong on your, on your tongue so this tobacco, this blend reminds me of that uh, period of my life and that uh, particular cigarette uh, mind you, it does not smell like cigarette. What I'm talking about is the taste which I got, which I used to get when I used to s smoke that particular cigarette uh, once in a while in winters. Very smoky, very, very, very nice. It does not bite you at all. You can puff it all you want. The moisture content when it comes is a little bit extra so you might want to you know put uh, the tobacco uh, 5 to 10 minutes in the air when I when it came uh, after a while after two weeks or so you don't really need to you can just fill it up your ball and write it up this tobacco <coughs> as of now has been discontinued it's a seasonal tobacco so next year Glenn will come up with another uh, Christmas tobacco so <clears throat> if you were lucky enough to get the, the hold of this tobacco save it a little bit if you want to because this tobacco is not going to come back next year there will be some other edition of this thing and it might be different to sum up uh, I would say Glenn has done a really good job uh, in creating this Christmas uh, dessert it's not sweet at all uh, it's spicy it reminds you of all the spices of Christmas uh, not the candies so if you, if you were looking for a sweet experience uh, this is not the tobacco for you but it's a high quality tobacco if you can see the pipe here it, it burns really really nice very high quality uh, tobaccos have been used uh, burns perfectly to white ash and burns very cool it does not heat up the bowl at all even <clears throat> when it has three three to four different kinds of cuts in it and there's lots of natural casing in it <clears throat> I would highly recommend uh, to smoke this tobacco and if you don't have it you might want to look around for a friend of yours which might have it uh, it's such a good tobacco now after I've smoked almost a pouch 50 grams of it now I'm actually beginning to like it it takes a little bit of a while to get used to these kind of spices if you're a new pipe smoker and you are not used to uh, spices like this in your tobacco So I'm I have around 10 15 grams left I'm going to uh, put it in a glass jar and save it for next year um, I'll I'll definitely want to uh, compare 2014's uh, tobacco for uh, next year I mean this year sorry to with this year's Christmas uh, tobacco as well in around 10 months time That's it guys. Thanks a lot for watching. 
Um, I will be doing a detailed review of this tobacco uh, on tobaccoreviews.com as well and on Glen Quelcher's website. So you can read the transcript there. Uh, it will be available on Tuesday because I have to write it. I just wanted to share my views first with you on YouTube. I, which I usually, it's a little bit of a different process I've uh, done. Uh, earlier I used to write the tobacco review first put it on the websites and then make a video but from this year what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my review with you first and then I'm going to uh, post it elsewhere so you get uh, the information first of all on my channel before it goes anywhere else so thanks for watching I hope you had a nice Christmas and you're having a very nice new year and a very nice January and I'll see you <clears throat> in a few days again See you.